so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video we are going to talk about how we can model that kind of round wooden table in blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and in this video we are going to talk about some modic trick as well so make sure you watch this tutorial till end and for doing the texture i will use the blender kit which is now become our default add-on of the blender okay and if you don't know how to enable that add-on so what you have to do basically you have to just go to your edit preference and here you have to just go to your add-on section and here you have to just search the blender kit yeah so here you can see you will see 3d view blender kit online asset library so you can just enable from the here and, and after that you will get this add-on here and if you press the n so you will get the here as well here you can see and here you can see guys this is our 3d model okay so now let's start the tutorial so first of all what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna delete everything select yeah something like that and first of all i will just enable my shortcut vr so you can easily see which key i'm pressing on the left hand side you can see basically so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna take that uh, render image as a reference image so we can easily make this uh, model basically so here you can see we have that render image okay so first of all i will just add one circle pressing the shift a then i'm just gonna my top view and here i'm just gonna edit mode of this circle then i will just select the two for the edge mode and then i will just press the f for the fill so here you can see guys we'll just get the face into our uh, circle after that i will just switch into my vertex mode yeah something like that pressing the one then i will just select these vertices and then i will just press the j for the join the mesh i'm just gonna switch into my solid mode so you can easily see here i will just repeat this command again and again something like that i will just press select these vertices then i will just press the j so after complete this process make sure you uh, select all these edges and then you have to just press the control b for the bevel yeah something like that and you have to just do little bevel something like that and here you can see and now you have to just press the three and okay and then you have to just delete these faces something like that so you will get that kind of shape here and then i'm just going to select all my vertices pressing the a and then i'm just going to extrude it pressing the e something like that so here you can see now we have a, that shape here okay which is looks nice to me and so now we'll just create that shape here so for creating the that shape i'm just going to add one cylinder here okay and then i'm just going to scale this cylinder something like that yeah i think that much the scale look nice to me right now i think do a little bit more yeah and then i'm just going to edit mode of this cylinder but before going to edit mode just do little scale yeah something like that okay and then i'm just going to stick my top and bottom faces and i will just press the i for the insert something like that and then i'm just going to delete these faces pressing the delete and then i will just press this shift h for hide everything except this cylinder then i'm just going to edit mode of this cylinder and i will just select the side edges something like that yeah inside side edges and then i'm just going to right click and here i will just do bridge as loop so we'll just get the that kind of shape here which is look nice to me then i'm just gonna unhide everything and here you can see now we have that kind of shape here which is look nice now we'll just create uh, that kind of shape here so for creating the that kind of shape we'll just add one edge loop in between here then i'm just gonna select my so first of all i will just enable my x-ray view and i'm just gonna my face mode and i'm just gonna select these vertices uh, these faces basically so after select these uh, faces i'm just gonna disable my x-ray mode then i'm just gonna press the alt e and here i will just do extrude along the normal so here you can see you will see that kind of shape here and then i'm just gonna add one uh, modifier here it's called basically a subdivision surface modifier okay and i'm just gonna increase the level of viewport too yeah that's look nice and i'm just gonna add the shade smooth as well okay now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna select these uh, side edges here yeah and then i'm just gonna bevel so we'll just get a sharp side edges yeah so here you can see now we have a perfect sharp edges here and which look nice to me okay so here you can see our top part is look nice to me now we are just going to make a bottom part so for creating the bottom part i'm just gonna add one cube here okay and then i'm just gonna scale this cube something like that and something like that as well yeah i think that much scale look nice to me okay and then i'm just gonna have a front view and i'm just gonna scale this cube a little bit down and then i'm just gonna keep it here basically and i think we should do little scale down yeah i think that look nice to me and after doing the scale make sure you apply the scale first of all and then you can just just uh, keep this shape here okay i think that's look nice 
now what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, duplicate this uh, cube all around this cylinder so for that i will just uh, change this origin point as a 3d cursor so it will help to create a duplicate in a round shape as well so i'm just going to press the right click and then i'm just going to set origin as a 3d cursor so now here you can see if i'm just going to scale it so it will going to scale from the 3d cursor and that's look nice to me now i'm just going to do shift d then i'm just press the r then i will just press the z for the z location and i'm just going to keep it as a 90 degree yeah something like that and then we'll just do shift r for the repeat the command so here you can see now we have a four leg here of this table okay which is look nice now i'm just going to make these two bottom part here so for that i will also add the uh, one more cube here and i'm just going to scale this cube something like that and something like that as well i think that's look nice to me yeah little bit and little bit something like that you can do little scale yeah and then we're just gonna drag it down and i think one more thing we have to do here so what we have to do basically first of all you have to apply the scale and then we have to select the all those four legs then we have to just do right click and here we have to just do set origin as a geometry and then we'll we have to just change the our pivot point as a individual origin then we'll just rotate this pressing the r and z so here you can see it will rotate something like that yeah so now this look fine to me and now i'm just going to duplicate this pressing the sh shift d then i'm just going to press the r and rotate it yeah so here you can see that's look nice to me now what i'm going to do i'm just going to scale this part little bit up yeah now that's look fine so here you can see guys our modeling part is done and here you can see our wooden table is look nice to me which is look super cool now i'm just going to move it little bit up something like that and then i will just add one plane here okay and i'm just going to scale this plane something like that and we'll just go to edit mode of this plane and i'm just going to select this side edge and we'll just create a one ramp edge here yeah something like that then we'll just uh, select this edge and we'll just do control b for the bevel and we'll just increase the bevel sides and then we'll just do shade smooth okay now i'm just going to switch my material preview so first of all i will just add a texture into our table so for adding the texture which is i've already told you i will use the blender kit so here i'm just search the wood so here you can see there are lots of wood material okay so i'm just going to use the uh, i will just use the okay so we'll just use this material so for using the material what i'm going to do i'm just going to select my object where we want the material then we have to just click the double click so it will automatically place the texture something like that add the same texture into all other parts so now i'm just going to select my all object something like that okay in the end we'll just select that object which is we have already placed the texture i'm just going to select this and then i'm just going to press the control l and here i will just do make link as a material so you will see something like that but right now we can't see any kind of texture into our this part because we need to unwrap this part as well so for doing the unwrap i'm just going to edit mode of this uh, shape and then i'm just going to press the u and here i will just do smart uv projection so you will see something like that we have a perfect texture into our middle part as well and if you want to scale this texture a little bit so you can just do edit mode of this section basically you have to just uh, select your middle part and then you have to just go to edit mode of this section and then you can just select these texture and do little scale so now you will get better texture here as well okay and same thing you have to do with the uh, other legs as well so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna do only unwrap one leg i will just press the u and smart uv projection and after that i will just uh, select my other legs and okay then we we'll select the last leg which is we have already unwrapped the model then i will just do again control l and here i will just do make link as a transfer uv so now we have a perfect texture into our leg part as well okay and here you can see now our texture part is also look nice to me and after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna um, go to my camera view and here you can see that look nice i'm just gonna unlock my camera and we'll just set one uh, view from here yeah something like that so now i'm just gonna switch into my rendering mode here you can see that looks something like that and i'm just using the sdri for the lighting here you can see you can use manual lighting as well if you want to use it otherwise sdri is look nice to me okay so now i'm just gonna uh, collapse this window something like that and then i'm just gonna press the f12 so here you can see this is the final render 
okay guys so that's how you can make that kind of rounded wooden table in blender that is super easy to create it and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learn something new today so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and